Hi, my name is Eric Chang. I'm security and privacy product manager at Google, focused on data deletion. Generally speaking, Google removes data in three stages. Stage one is the deletion request. This is when the user issues a deletion request either via the Cloud Console or via the API, and a piece of data is flagged for deletion. Stage two is the data removal and recovery. Once a deletion request is made, the data is made inaccessible to read requests, and it is hidden from the product user interface. This removal step confirms the user's deletion request. Some deletion requests allow for recovery, such as those for accounts, projects, or a query on BigQuery. Stage three is the deletion. If the data marked for deletion is not recovered within the stage two window, it is deleted in the underlying layer of products, such as Cloud Storage or Cloud Spanner. Each GCP service from which data gets deleted has its own detailed process to ensure complete deletion. This might involve repeated passes through the system to confirm all data has been deleted. After the recovery period, GCP will broadcast a deletion request with a unique account or project identifier to all subservices. This will begin the product level deletion, during which GCP waits for an acknowledgment signal from all the products to complete deletion. Most of the products within GCP performs deletion by overriding. This is done by removing the file pointer to the data. And once the data is marked as deleted, the space it occupied is marked as empty and eventually overridden by new data. Google Cloud Storage goes one step further by activating cryptographic erasure, which deletes the key that is used to decrypt the storage buckets before deletion of the bucket's content by overriding. Last but not least, let's not forget decommissioning of hardware. Google meticulously tracks the location and status of all equipment within our data centers through acquisition, installation, retirement, and destruction via barcodes and asset tags. If a component fails to pass a performance test at any point during its lifecycle, it is removed from the inventory and retired. When it is retired, authorized individual verify that the disk is erased by overwriting the drive with zeros and performing a multi-step verification process to ensure that the drive contains no data. If the drive cannot be erased for any reason, it is stored securely until it can be physically destroyed. Depending on available equipment, we either crush and deform the drive or shred the drive into small pieces. In either case, the disk is recycled at a secure facility, ensuring that no one will be able to read data on retired Google disks. To learn more about deletion on Google Cloud Platform, please visit our website and read our white paper. Thanks for watching.